Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. As you guys can tell by the title, this is gonna be a mini summer glow up slash getting into the summer mood, summer spirit. I always do this video every year, so I'm really excited to do it this year. Excuse me in the bonnet, we're about to be doing my hair um, right now. It's like about 9.15ish, so we're gonna eat breakfast and then we're gonna get started with my hair. Gonna do like a nice summer braid look. Then a little blonde. I feel like I didn't do blonde last summer. Like I feel like the last time I did blonde was the summer before that. So I'm happy to bring the blonde back. I feel like I always bring lighter colors into the summer. But yeah, I'm gonna eat breakfast first and then we're gonna get started with the braids. because pretty hot in my room and I'm in the middle of getting ready because I'm going out. That will be in another vlog you guys will see. But Nia finished my braids. It is two days later because I went to work yesterday and I forgot to show you guys my hair reveal. I'll show you guys a full hair reveal when I'm about to leave and I'm like fully in my outfit so y'all can like see the hair with like the look all together. Okay makeup and hair is done. I decided to just have my hair down because you know the curls are curling and let me just okay so this is what the hair is giving like these are mermaid braids it's so cute i decided to just let the hair be down today some outfits don't need a whole hairstyle i feel like just having it down is cute too i love the length like the hair is definitely longer than what i usually do which i love because i've always really, really wanted to do like long braids obviously this isn't the longest because i've seen girls that wear braids down past their butt but i don't know if i'll ever do that this is a pretty good long length for me it's so pretty i love the golden long color i love the waves as you guys saw i just sectioned my hair into different braids and i use like the rods to curl the ends i think the curls look so beautiful braids are braiding they're giving summer braids and look at how tan i look y'all like yes i've been in the sun but i haven't been in the sun for hours where i'm just like literally baking in the sun so it's like this hair really does a lot especially for my skin tone if y'all want to look tan for the summer get you some honey blondes you know with the braids especially if you're a melanated queen but yeah i don't want to talk too much i'm gonna be getting ready to leave soon again this will be a part of another vlog i just want to show you guys the hair and my makeup came out so good today like it looks so natural like it's blended and it's like i'm not saying that i never blend my makeup but sometimes i feel like my under eyes can look a little blotchy but i feel like the way i did my concealer and everything like this is the way i'm probably gonna do it and like my makeup looks so natural like this is perfect for like summer like a makeup no makeup look and i love it so so it's the next morning. I always wake up at 8 o'clock, but I didn't get out of bed until 8.30. But the first thing I always do is make my bed just to check it off my to-do list and make my morning feel more productive. Then I wanted to do like a 10-15 minute morning stretch and workout. So that's what I decided to do. It felt so good moving my body and getting my energy up. And then I received some products from this Australian skincare brand called Body Blends. If you guys want to know more information about them, I did a TikTok about them. But they sent me some of their products, their lip scrub and their body scrub. So now it's time for my everything shower it's pretty simple I basically just a double cleanse with the dove bar soap and body wash and then I shaved and then I used their vanilla blush coffee scrub which made my skin feel so smooth and it smells so good and now it's time to do some skincare I'm dermaplaning and I do this once a month you don't need to do it often I feel like the more you do it the less facial hair that I grow on my face and it makes my skin so soft and smooth especially while applying skincare or makeup and I always just shave downward I just used my facial cleanser to 
to shave my face with, so I'm not shaving on dry skin. Other times I would use a facial oil, but I feel like using my facial cleanser also worked for me. Then it was time to tweeze my brows. They just needed a little cleanup. I don't go to the salon. I used to, but they kind of messed up my brows. So once or twice a month, I would just tweeze some areas just to clean it up. And now it's time to use my face mask. I haven't done the face mask in so long. I did a hyaluronic acid one and I left it on for about 15 minutes. It's a type of mask where you don't need to like wash off. So I just let it sit. And then why I left the face mask on, I decided to moisturize my body. And I love, especially after shaving and using a body scrub, just using body oil and lotion because it makes my skin so glowy. So that's a great hack for really glowy skin. Now it's time to do my skincare routine. I'm not gonna go in depth with my skincare routine because there's definitely some more products I definitely wanna get. I definitely also ran out of some, but it's pretty simple. I just use hyaluronic acid or any type of like serum. And then I'll use a facial cream or a facial lotion and then just a regular face oil to hydrate my skin. Some sunscreen. And if my face needs a little bit more hydration or there's any dry spots, I like to use this Kahi hydrating balm for that glass skin look but I love just putting this around my face just to make my skin look glowy it's literally one of my favorite Korean beauty products I've been using this summer and that's pretty much my skincare routine since we're done with like our whole beauty and maintenance routine for the summer prep and now it's time to do our quarterly check-in if you guys watched my mid-year summer reset i did do basically my spring quarterly check-in but i was really late to it so it kind of fit better for like the mid-year reset type of mark i basically do it four times throughout the year and this was my first year ever doing it this is not my idea i got this from kenna marie's video i feel like it's been a great way to like keep myself on track with my goals and everything that i want for this year already and like a little bit past that halfway mark since now we're in the seventh month of the year and we have 12 months in the year so it's literally crazy how fast this year is going i feel like the first part of this year was going pretty slow we're already at like that halfway summer point people are going to be going back to school then we're going to be having the holidays and then we're going to already be at the end of the year and then it's going to be new year's so i don't like to think about those things too much because i don't want to think too much on time and feel like i'm always in a rush and i have to like oh my god get all this stuff done but then at the same time it's like I don't want to look move too slow of a pace where I feel like I'm not doing anything so it's just really having that discipline and making sure I'm on it with my goals anything that you know I just want to get straight you know for this year pretty much I'm gonna be doing my third quarterly check-in in my light binder of course which is July 1st right now it is July 16th so I am you know a week and a half two weeks behind on that but that's fine as long as I'm still doing it in the month I still have all the way until October into my next quarterly check-in so I do have quite a bit of time. Like I said, we're basically kind of a little bit past that like half um, halfway mark of the year. So there's definitely a lot of time to still get the things done that you want for this year. Or if it's specifically for summer, but we're still halfway through the summer, okay? Because it is our, it's only July 15th. Summer does not end until September 22nd. I know a lot of people go back to school in August. I feel like I definitely get more into the fall mood. September, which is around my birthday, I feel like I still have, you know, the whole month of August to do any of this summer plans or summer activities that I want to do this year and then after that we're going to be adding our summer bucket list into this life binder and I'm so excited to do it I used to do my summer bucket list in my journal I feel like it's good to do it for you know my life binder because I did not do a spring bucket list because it's not really much to put in there and to me spring and summer are so similar in terms of like activities especially like oh like picnics going out gardens and that's like stuff that I also do during the summer too I always do a summer bucket list a fall and a winter bucket list because I feel like those are the bigger seasons and yes spring is one of my favorite seasons but in terms of like things that you do activity wise it's very similar to summer to me so that's why I don't really do that maybe I'll decorate it with some stickers or just use colorful markers just to make it look cute and then we're gonna do our summer mood board on our computer <laughs>
It's a little bit later as you can obviously see it is nighttime so that's why I have my LED light on right now but I finished doing my bucket list it took a little bit longer than I wanted to because after I did my bucket list then I journaled for a little bit and then I made my mood board so we're gonna start with the bucket list first it came out so cute y'all you guys will obviously see a close-up and like montage of how it looks and like I told you guys I put it in my light binder and it honestly looks so cute i decided to draw a little bit you know beach illustrations and i think it looks so cute my 2024 bucket list things i wrote down is oc fair beach trips which i kind of already did but i definitely want to do more amusement parks i either want to go to universal studios or disneyland and i definitely want to get season passes so i don't know if i get that this year but that is definitely the goal i want to get season passes so me and nia me and my family and friends can go at any time that we want thrifting of course for Jean boutique but then also myself um visiting somewhere new just like anywhere whether it's like taking a road trip somewhere, maybe it's visiting a new spot that just opened, maybe it's somewhere local, or maybe it's somewhere far away, maybe you're traveling, just anything. Trying new foods, I kind of did this already. I definitely want to do that more often, just trying new cafes, restaurants, foods in general, my friends and family, because I'm a foodie and I love food and I love trying new food. Next, our picnic. We kind of did this already too, had a picnic at the beach, but I do want to do some picnics at the park, do some arts and crafts and stuff. LA trips, also did this too. A lot of the stuff in this bucket list, I've done already but want to do more of I want to go to color me mind pottery they have a couple locations in Southern California but it's basically like a pottery place where you can create your own creations and stuff like that with like pottery and I think it's so cool so I definitely want to do that next is a San Diego weekend trip I want to do this like my friend Elise goes to San Diego with her family all the time and last time I went to San Diego was a safari like the san diego zoo and that was like when i was in high school i think i was like 15 or 16 so it's been a while i definitely want to go again and maybe go to some beach some cafes um just walk around just have like a nice little weekend trip reading i definitely need to get back to my summer reading i definitely been doing a little bit but i definitely want to do some more shopping going to the movies y'all know i go to the movies all the time so that's definitely something i'm doing this summer i've definitely already done it already watch the sunset and the sunrise me and nia have been doing little hikes near our neighborhood sitting on the top of a hill looking at the view i feel like that is so cute also doing that at the beach too is a great idea cooking i have been doing a little bit of cooking definitely need to do a lot more i definitely want to cook more throughout the week outdoor movie night is literally a place near my house that has one like about 15 to 20 minutes away so i don't know why i haven't done it we're doing it this year i'm just so excited to just like get some blankets get some nice snacks popcorn watch a nice movie in my car like i feel like that is such a cute nostalgic vibe outdoor concerts la has a lot of them a lot of free concerts too so makes smoothies and acai bowls make some s'mores a trip to hawaii i definitely want to do that i definitely just want to travel this year it is literally a dream of mine so i definitely want to do that horseback riding guys I used to like ride horses all the time when i was a kid because my cousin used to have horses i used to go to her staples and like ride the horses there i would even do it at the fairs too like i don't know just as a kid i have so many memories of riding horses whether it's a pony or a horse i'm gonna go to like a big grass field or maybe at a beach and just ride a horse I just love horses so much it's like literally one of my favorite animals like so peaceful that is pretty much it for my summer bucket list i know that was kind of a lot i also might add more i feel like i have a really good one here and these are things i don't want to be doing i've already started doing some of the stuff this summer which is already good but the stuff that i haven't done yet i definitely want to do and y'all will be seeing it in my upcoming summer vlogs and then i did my mood board i'll show you guys an overall over i'm not going to get in depth because it's pretty self-explanatory a lot of the things in my mood board are the same things that i put into to my bucket list and i just made it cute and aesthetic and i love how it came out i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was really fun filming this summer prep comment down below what plans you have this summer if you guys have been enjoying my summer diary or if there's anything in my bucket list that you guys are planning to do this year if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>